Okay, so cultists, your main cultist here has agreed to help me do some cooking today. So today we're going to be making a souffle, which is primarily made of eggs. I will help you remove the bones from the eggs. Uh, well, there's no bones in eggs. Then I will help you peel back their scales and remove their claws. Have you ever seen an egg before? Uh... Okay, forget the souffle. We're going to start with something more basic. How about deviled eggs? Deviled eggs, the legendary fruit of the devil himself. Um, They're from chickens. They say if you go to the crossroads and open your cloaca, you... The first thing you do for deviled eggs is boil them. My lord, I have boiled a number of eggs here. Oh, great. Well, how long did you boil them for? This was cooked for seven minutes, the time it takes for a child to learn fear. And this was cooked for 20 minutes, the time it takes for an adult to learn fear. Well, I guess what we need then is an egg that is cooked for as long as it takes for a teenager to learn fear. Teenagers have no fear! What I meant was... Not the cool ones. Well, we want to boil the egg for 12 minutes. See, the uh, 20-minute egg is overcooked and it's just going to taste like sulfur. And the 7-minute egg is good if you want a soft-boiled egg. But we want a hard-boiled egg, so we want it to be just cooked enough to be solid. So that's 12 minutes. Shall we start with cold water, so the egg can slowly become aware of its impending demise? Oh no, actually, temperature shock is really good for getting an easy-to-peel hard-boiled egg. So we'll get a pan of water boiling, and then we'll keep a basin of cold water ready nearby for when the boiling's done. So let's do six eggs. (laughs) Feel the heat! Okay, so the 12 minutes is just about up, so it's time to bring the eggs into the cold water. Some of this water is solid. Yeah, that's some ice. Uh, The cold water will help to keep the eggs from continuing to cook after you take them out of the boiling water. And while they're cooling off, let's put together the rest of the ingredients. Deviled eggs are fun because you can add pretty much anything you like to flavor the yellow inside part. But today we're using a simple recipe that I love because it's a little bit zesty but without being too weird. And it's got some pretty basic dry spices that you probably already have in your kitchen. So, first we peel the six hard-boiled eggs. Then we cut them in half. Thank you, cultist. Now we're going to add all of the yolks to the big bowl. And we're going to add a third of a cup of mayo, an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, A pinch of salt, maybe like a sixteenth of a teaspoon, something like that, just a tiny amount. And a quarter teaspoon of dried dill. I have added the dill weed. (laughs) Okay, so then you uh, mix it all up. Um, And you can actually just wash your hands and then mix it with your hands if you want. Visceral. But if that weirds you out, you can always just use the fork. And once it's mixed, you scoop a little spoonful of the mixture back into each egg white. And personally, I like to add a sprinkle of paprika on top at the end, just to give it a little color, but you don't need to. And people will enjoy these. Yeah, um, summer's coming up, and they're a big hit at backyard parties, barbecues, picnics, that kind of thing. And you can even make them a day ahead of time, and then just store them in the fridge until you're ready. It is said that some think of deviled eggs as kitsch, as a bland repugnancy suited only to 1950s housewives. Oh. They are incorrect! Oh. Deviled eggs are delicious! Yeah. Consume deviled eggs.